So I have my hands on this account for a couple of days now, trying to figure out what's the best way to utilize it. And I think the best way to go about it is to make it into a Griffin trap. Now, the number one question that you might be asking is, well, whose account is this? What account is this? Well, let me go ahead and answer that for you. This account was given to me by Chantel. Um, if you're ever on my streams, you might already know who Chantel is. But if not, she's somebody that's always on my streams, always supporting the channel. So I really appreciate her for that. Um, but unfortunately, because of some other circumstances, she's going to be too busy to playing the game or focusing on the game. So uh, she gave me the account. And um, I've been kind of thinking what I want to do with this account. So I started looking around and this account is a little too big to be a regular solo trap. And it's still a little too small to be a rally trap. So I thought that maybe the, the nice medium would be to make it into a griffin trap. Now, let me go ahead and just show you exactly what this account has. Um, from what she's telling me, she took a lot of the tips from my videos in, as far as building the account. And it shows because she definitely built it the right way. Obviously, we have a nice little construction set here. And I'll go ahead and show you what other uh, sets they have. We have a nice monster set, which is definitely nice. And, th and this is the war gear, um, which is really, really good. If you actually think... Um, take a look at this. I mean, it's really freaking good. The, the jewels are either blue or higher and it's a nice it's a nice uh, It's a nice little set Especially if you're gonna be a griffin trap because that's exactly what you're going to be needing a nice strong set in war gear um, I set my wall for the I, I feel like these are the top five free-to-play heroes that you can have on your wall just in general so I went ahead and set it up like that. Obviously, my, my actual leader doesn't have to be Bob and Goblin, but I don't think it really matters. I don't think I'm going to be actually attacking with this account. And um, go ahead and show you the troops. So we've got 1.8 million troops, about 500k of each T3. I actually have a little bit less of cavalry because somebody decided to hit me with a familiar attack. Actually, not too long ago. Look at this. Hold on, let, me, let me show you. So it's kind of like super random like why are you attacking me out of everybody like I've, I've never even attacked this person but hey um we'll probably make it an even 500k um but the only thing i was taking a look at is the t4 numbers if anything i might want to up that to maybe about 200,000 each that way uh it'll definitely pack a punch and i can i can make a little bit more troops especially t4 because she actually decided to go full inference so i have 655,000 in my in my wounded so even if i get rallied if i get into fury without wanting to i have six armies i have shelter and i can take 600,000 wounded so i can definitely make maybe 200,000 maybe 250,000 of each t4 obviously it's going to take a little longer just because i don't have any manners but that's okay that's not really a ton of t4 and they it's it's got gems so 228,000 gems is probably almost just enough to make the t4s that i need but the only thing that's kind of um sending me back as far as the griffin thing is the actual the griffin it's right now it's level one so i need to be able to take this up preferably to level 10 and that's why right now I'm going to be uh, training the, the Griffin, make, making sure that I take it up as, as high as possible. So in that time that I take up this Griffin, uh, I'm going to be training up some T4. Um, I'm probably going to be shielding the max, what, what's the max, like 14 days I believe? Yeah, so I'll probably just be using 14 day shields or maybe one day, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't really have too many shields outside of 8 hours, so I don't want it to get zeroed in the process, so I feel like that's probably the best way to go about it. And if I need anything, I'll probably just move it over from my main account. Um, but that's, that's I think, the best way to go about it right now. Let me go ahead and show you everything else. Actually, let me just go to the uh, to the workshop and show you everything that it's got. It's, it's a pretty solid account. I mean, look at all the items that it's got. And you can see that even like the research, she's got this cavalry mail to mythic and definitely a lot of different options. So this is going to be an interesting thing. I feel like it won't be ready for another maybe month or so um, just because the griffin is at level one. 
and I don't really have much to uh, to pick it up with. Look at this. This is actually pretty. Like, she's got some random gold jewels, kind of like spare jewels. That's actually pretty cool. Um, but it's definitely going to take some time just because the griffin still needs to be taken up to a decent level. And if you guys don't already know what a griffin trap is, let me just give you a nice little um, quick rundown of what it is. Technically, let me see if I can actually find a place that'll be ideal. Um, it has to be somewhere with like a lake or somewhere where people can't just park right next to you. And I don't know if I can actually find a place like that. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, you would maybe want to find a place like this. Clear this out, right? And then just park in the middle. That way, people will have to send a march and then march be... Uh, pretty far away from you not not right next to you and since nobody can park right next to you here They'll have to send it from like over here. They'll have to send it from here And once you're parked right here, what you want to do is you want to send your troops out far away um, Maybe to like level four tiles or whatever just some somewhere pretty far away and essentially what this griffin trap is going to be able to do is when you go over to the griffin and where is it at right here? So we're going to be using Homeward Bind, and at level 10, it recalls all troops within 6 seconds. So that means that once you recall, your troops are going to be in your turrets in 6 seconds. So the idea behind this is, is to bait people into sending a ton of marches to you. And usually you do that by having a ton of resources, maybe like 200 million of each, maybe a ton of gold, just something along those lines, maybe some food and um you'll have people sending you a ton of marches and then what you'll do is you'll use your, the griffin make sure that you switch to your war gear your war talents and then just random them out and then usually you'll kill a ton of troops you'll get you'll capture a lot of leaders and if you do this in kvk and you start doing it in like different kingdoms that, that is going to be an amazing little trap that i might be able to uh to provide for you guys as far as like trap content because i know you guys uh, wanted my little mini account to be a trap, but here's what I'm proposing. Maybe with this account now and making this one a trap account, we can have my mini just be it's a regular account that you start from scratch and whatnot, and then make this one the one that I use my uh, my trap content with um, because it's it's got really everything you need. Um, it's got the gold heroes that I need. Uh, I'm actually working on Oathkeeper right now because I was taking a look at the ones that were left and I was like, eh, they're working on Death Archer, um, but I, I don't know, I, mean, I might just finish Death Archer and then go to Oathkeeper because that's really the only uh, really important one left. Um, but outside of that, I mean, it's got all the heroes that I need for the trap and it's got the gems, it's, it's got everything. Uh, the only thing that I don't have at the moment is a guild because uh this was this was left in i'm gonna show you right now it's in dkn and i'm pretty sure this was just like a random girl she might have joined so if anything i might be looking for a guild to join and start trapping in like different kingdoms uh actually one thing i did not check is to see the migration she doesn't does she have much migration but she doesn't have enough for a migration scroll but I'm sure that if I get into a decent enough guild, I'll be able to get enough coins to start migrating and everything. And because of the might, it, it's just going to cost me one migration scroll no matter pretty much where I go. So in a month or so, I'm going to be looking for a guild to join. Uh, might be temporary. I don't know because obviously this is going to be like something that I'm going to be testing out. But the ideal situation and the ideal place to use this is going to be during KVK. Just because everybody's going to be looking for targets. When they see the resources, they're going to be like, oh my god, we have resources. Go, go, go. So I feel like this is going to be perfect. Um, let me see what other things she has. She has plenty of that. She has some brave hearts. Um, got a decent amount of energy and anima and arcade tones. Not bad. Uh, let me go also give you a quick little rundown of the research. So obviously she is um, T4, so uh, she's finished with uh, military. The monster hunt, she's oh, she was almost done with it. I mean, look at this. 
But I don't know if I really want to take it up because I'm not going to be hunting level 5s anyway. And I don't want to add even more might. Uh, upgrade defense, she pretty much never really touched. Upgrade military. That's the one that I kind of want to get to and maybe get like an extra one or two quick swaps. Uh, just for research and whatnot. But I mean, it's not, it's not something that I need to have. Army leadership, she kind of got in here a little bit. And I kind of do want it just to unlock the wedges. And if I remember correctly, the wedges are not too rough to get to. So I might just do that and unlock the wedges. Um, that way, if somebody sends like all infantry and I have like range phalanx, it doesn't hurt me too much. If I have like range wedge. Uh, and then the other ones, I don't think she did too much on these. But still, these are not as important as, of course, military and the other ones. So I feel like this is this is going to be a pretty good account to do this with. It just needs a little bit of prep time. I need a little bit of prep time. This griffin needs to be taken up ASAP. Does she have any items? She probably has some, but not enough to actually matter. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go ahead and just make this the rally, not the rally trap, but like the trap account and then just leave my mini as a regular account that I do you know, regular growth uh, and streams with? It'll be interesting to know. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. And again, appreciate Chantel for uh, letting me use the account and uh, molding it into what it's going to be. Yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. And until later, bye.